What up guys, Fojo here, and today we're going to be going over exactly where to find the Weaponsmith outfit, all the different places to get the pieces, and the best ways to go about doing it. But real quick, if you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. If you could also hit that bell, it'll let you know when new content drops. And if you could also leave a comment letting me know if this helped you out, if this was useful for you, and if there's a better way to get any of these. So to start out with, the Weaponsmith set is going to give you a plus 10 if you're wearing all the pieces to weaponsmith crafted item quality and doing so will help you get to the point where you can do 590 to 600 level gear when weaponsmithing doing so can be very profitable and very useful to getting that best gear you want and selling some of it as well to make some money so the first place we're going to go to is to find the weaponsmith hat the weaponsmith hat will be in mangled heights on the mangled run in great glee if you just go on the mangled run this guy is right at the end of it he is high priest osagura and you can find him there he is surrounded by a bunch of tentacles a bunch of other mobs so make sure to clear those out first then fight him or pull him to the front and fight him there high priest osagura is not that hard to fight as long as you have a group there with you he is easy enough to take down he is soloable but very difficult to solo so if you want to do that you can but i don't recommend it so at least come here with five to 10 people and try to get this weaponsmith hat that way and now up next we have the weaponsmith shirt the weaponsmith shirt is going to be found in merc guard with artifacts fatum artifacts fatum is in the eastern side of merc guard and can be found during the merc guard run he is also fairly easy to fight and you could use a group of five people to fight him over and over again if you wanted to. There are other mobs and other boss mobs in the area though, so this one is one where you don't want to go solo or spread too far out and draw too many mobs attention to you, but definitely farmable. Or you can also just come through here on the elite chest runs and do so this way, which is just as easy to do and you get at least one attempt a day. If you go on multiple runs, you can get multiple attempts, but also a very viable way to do this. And next we have the Weaponsmith Gloves. The Weaponsmith Gloves are going to be found in a cave in Southern Eden Grove on the Profane Seam. This is one of the Yetis that are left over from the Winter Event this year. You will find a Yeti by the name of Juna in here. Juna is definitely soloable. I would definitely pull mobs first and fight those first. It just makes these fights way easier. So pull the mobs out, fight them quick, and then pull the Yeti out and fight Juna. Juna is 100% soloable and easy enough to do. Group will make it much easier though, so if you have a couple of friends that want to come down here and fight Juna and get some gloves, definitely one of the better ways to do it. But Juna is soloable, so if you don't have anybody with you, it's still definitely doable. And after that, we have the infamous Weaponsmith Pants. The Weaponsmith Pants are now found with Articulon the Unshackled, who is also in the Mangled Run. There are two of them in the, um, in the Mangled Run now, so you have two shots of this when you go through here to get the Weaponsmith Pants. One of them is level 60, the other one is level 63. So in here, in this run, you have two shots every time you do an Elite Chest run through here. Could come through here to the group and try to kill these over and over again. You run back and forth it wouldn't be too difficult to do but i would suggest just going through on the elite chess runs it makes it a lot easier with a big group but you could come through here with a few friends and do this as well i would suggest at least five if you're going to be doing both because that's there's quite a few mobs through here that could make it very difficult and then finally we have the weaponsmith shoes the weaponsmith shoes are also found in a cave with a yeti this one will be found in ebon scale reach by the serenity rise and this cave is southwest of the town of Evanscale, so you can skirt around the mountainside to get there or take the nearby shrine to also get there. And Sesa is also a very soloable mob. If you want to pull the mobs in the cave that are not the Yeti and take those out first, definitely a good way to do it. You could also probably go in there and take out the Yeti without a problem. So this one's also very soloable, very easy to do. And if you want to have a group here, it will make it faster. But Soloing it is not a problem and it is pretty easy to do so. So on this last one, Sesa is not a problem. So in the end, some of these are soloable, but most of these you will need a group with or to go with the elite chest runs to try and get a chance at some of these drops. The Weaponsmith set has been for a long time a very difficult one to complete. When it was a drop from Mal or Malevolence, it was very difficult to get the pants, but now it seems as if the pants are much easier to get your hands on. So that's a nice touch that they've changed up and kind of moved everything around 
hopefully this guide has helped you figure out exactly where you need to go, what you need to do to complete your weaponsmith set, and to find all these different pieces and what to do to get them so that you can create those weapons that you wanted for a long time or give it a shot to make some money. But let me know in the comments if this has helped you out or if you have a better way to do any of these, please comment it and let everybody know. Also, if you guys could like the video and subscribe, I would truly appreciate that. And we'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.